Hello everyone, I'm Dan Saxena with my partner Bushal Puria from Nanda Public School, Grade 9. The aim to solve the problem of producing a green fuel with our idea. Our planet is changing faster than we can even grow up. The skies are getting darker, the oceans are getting warmer, and the air we breathe is turning toxic. These aren't warning for the futures, these are emergencies happening right now. But what if the solution didn't need land, coal, or massive factories? What if it could float? Our idea is the green ammonia production ship, a self-powered floating factory that turns seawater and air into clean fuel. No fossil fuels, no emission. Just the wind, the sun, water, and air transformed into one of the world's most cleanest energy sources. The ship isn't just technology. It's a future that we can build today. Here's how our idea works, and it's simpler than it seems. First, seawater enters the ship and passes through disc filters, ultrafiltration, and desalination unit to become pure water. Next, air is filled inside a cryogenic unit to extract nitrogen. Then, the hydrogen and the nitrogen enter our NRR or the nitrogen reduction reactor, where they fuse together to create green ammonia, a zero carbon fuel. Finally, this ammonia is stored safely in insulated tanks and carried back to the shore by small transport boats. And the best part, this entire process runs day and night on 100% renewable energy. The ship powers itself. No pollution, no dependence, and no compromise. With the right support, we aim to build a real working prototype equipped with sensors, safety controls, and AI to optimize production. In the next 12 months, we aim to deploy it in the ocean and prove that a fleet of these ships could supply clean fuel to ports, coastal industries, and even entire cities. Our vision is bigger than just a project. It's a movement to make India a global leader in green fuel and to protect the planet for us and for every generation after us. Because the future isn't something we just wait for, it's something